What is up guys? Me again, welcome to another, another round of one, eight days. And here we go, chapter 12, Bound of Siri. The 800 mile, mile voyage to Sergei was a perilous one, perilous one, perilous one. Of such a boat or as a tim tibic. The sea around China at at that time of year were very stormy. But his father reminded the captain that he must go as fast as possible. However, the weather... Trust me, Mr. Falk, was the reply. I shall be racing as much sails as I can without risking losing my mates. I have the utmost confidence in you, answered Felix Fogg. As the sun set that night, Mr. Fogg stood proudly, legs wide apart at the front of his front of the boat. It was at least if he if he was riding in the waves. Aurora stood behind him, staring out at this wide ocean, a void above her uh, the wide filled sails dro drove the boat forward. Fix <clears throat> was suddenly at the back of the boat, keeping himself apart from the other travelers. He was feeling very feeling terribly seasick. At sunrise, the following day, November 8th, the boat had traveled more than 100 miles. The terror was racing ahead with a sail flying. <clears throat> but every, but even the boat entered the narrow storm toss stra straight from Formosa. Captain Paulson looked at the cloudy skies ahead. There is a huge storm coming, he worried. Valius fought me warned, but his fog looked calmly th towards the ever darkened skies. Tell me, Captain, he said, and when the storm hits, will the wind be behind us uh, or against us? It'll be behind us, replied the Captain Captain Bossy. If that's at the case, Valley's fog, then it will be carried forward it's a little faster. So there will be no need for a risk of speed, a due speed. The captain knew that there was no point in arguing with Mr. Fogg. His father's fog. However, there was a great danger ahead, so he kept the boat moving in under full sail. When the violent storm hit, the tower required and was left as a like a feather, but as the wind and blow forward at a great rate of knots, perhaps moving faster than a train. The boat a race north was on a huge wave all the day long. Sometimes into it plugged into a deep watery valley of, and looked, looked as though it might have capsized. But however, the tough were always found on a way to get way out again. The passengers were comfortable behind Fat hind in, in spray, Vic sat in the back of the ship, now almost frozen with fear and seasickness. Aurora stood close to Fadius Fogg, always trusting in his luck. As the Fogg himself just looked out on the storm, as if he was an everyday event. As the night came on, the storm in increased. It became so violent that Captain Bowser warned Fa Mr. Fogg that it was time to seek a shelter on one of Cousin Book. I agree. Eternally, answered Felix Fogg. But which port? asked Captain. I know only one, said Smiling Fogg. Sergei. But what was about to, about to say Sergei was the final destination. Then, when they realized that Felix Fogg was serious, he didn't want to stop him until stop until the reach Sergei. Sergei, we, we go then, said Captain. Said the captain with a skirt on his shoulders. The storm lasts all night, but at the top, they will survive, if at all. Next morning, Captain Powelton proudly announced that they, it just, a hundred miles of. One hundred miles of Sergei. It was going to be a close run, on things. The steamer was due to leave Sergei's Joko. What? At that evening, and how 
Uh, the wind was dropping and by noon and the boat was fully miles from the harbor there and there it was hardly a puff of wind in the air not uh, long after a uh, trick fog descended, and the turbulence showed to, uh, to sail peace by six o'clock like that at evening and they were still 20 miles up to the harbor uh, there were not a chance of catching the ship now Valley Swag was still perfectly calm, and yet, at that moment, his 20,000 pounds were, it seems to be lost. Just then, everyone on the board, ahead the enchanted hood, echoed hood, out of a parent ship. The next moment, a, a tall, full, boiling, and black smoke came out from the fog about a half a mile away. It's, it's a steamer! It said Captain Balsey, swimming. The wheel. Around the boat of our car, we're on the collision course. But his fog didn't hesitate. Captain, he said, he cried, fire the alarm gun, raise it this a flag. The gun fired, right, and the crowman immediately a risk it's a flag. The ship ghostly out of the fog, steam into, into towards them. And that's all for today, seal.